time was um just we got got the application up and running so we could type the name in say Josh and say let's go and it sends it Josh let's go so this tutorial we're going to do a bit of styling and make it look a bit better okay so what we're going to do first is start a doc put a bit more effort into the structure so I'll put a doc type in is HTML5 basically HTML HTML working and then we're going to start the HTML tag put lang language is equal to en and then crop tab across and go start the head tab go down and the head go down again start the body basically in the body tab everything across like so and then down here after all of this and the body ask me where that M came from end it and just end the HTML HTML okay so if you look at the browser now if we F5 just you shouldn't get anything changed so what we want is to issue page source and we should have this now as you see the PHP code is showing up up here Okay, that, show, that stuff is showing above the document. So we don't need that. We know it's working, so we, don't, we can get rid of that now. So basically, all we've got to do includes database and open the connect.db. In here, instead of saying that, we're going to make a variable. That's a, we're going to make an array. So empty array is going to be equal to that and it's and we can control C basically replace everything that says echo with that so we can in future we can still use that stuff so if, since the first file is going to include it up here such as I'm going to call it feedback it's going to be equal to an array Okay, the set's in called up here, so that's done the array. And just gonna add to the array. So now if we refresh this page, there you get that. And you can see it's gone now. If we view the page source, doc types back there, and whatnot. So that's pretty good. That's gone good. So we've done that bit. Now we need some styling. So in the we need a page title actually, so we on a Start doing a page title. So I'm just going to do a chat at the location. For some reason, sometimes I wonder why I type some things. And then CSS style sheets one two. I'm going to link type. I know it's HTML5, and you don't need type but I put in there and style sheet for relative has a relative to a thing and a ref equal it's gonna be in a public slash so we're going from the index page public slash CSS slash main main dot CSS and just end that so now we can go back and create a new folder called public. Within that folder, create a new folder called CSS. And in that folder, create a document called, you guessed it, main.css. .css. Okay, so this is our CSS file, so we'll just go. We can get that thing. So CSS style sheet 
application. Okay. First of all, we're going to do HTML body and just set the margin to zero pixels. Padding zero pixels, and that's all in the moment. So, control save. If you go to index, you see we've got messages. So, what we might do just to make it a bit better, we're going to move the form above where the messages are displayed just for the laughs and giggles. So, if we save that and we actually refresh it properly, it's at the top now, as you can see. Okay, so what we're going to start styling is the messages. So we're going to create one called messages. Messages, which is going to have a width of width of uh, I reckon 500 pixels, good one. A height. 300 pixels, um, padding, not writing, padding of 10 pixels, um, a border, one pixel solid, C, and over, flow, order. So now if we refresh this, Continue with this lovely little box around here. So, so what? So what we, we don't want 10 pixels, a bit too much, I reckon. So that, and just give it a margin 10 pixels. I think a margin of 10 pixels should do. Yeah, just puts it away a bit. So now this up here. So what we are going to do. I don't know how you could use light, so that's that, and then we're just gonna, I don't know, we call it um, input maybe. We're gonna give it up. We're just gonna go for stop, so. Going to have a marginal, do padding, might be a bit easier, padding of 10 pixels. Basically, just get everything around this in it. So, div id equals to input slash this and the div tag and have input. Just like so. We should get that because the top there. So we start a little bit. It's not nothing fancy or anything. But we just made look at tad better. So now if we start putting some random names in, so Luke, yay! I don't know. Send message. Message sent. As I said, so if we just keep refreshing, continue, that gets keeps in sent. You get the scroll bar when you get over that amount. As you can see, the newest message goes down the bottom. Um, what you can do to fix that is in the thing, what we'll do, we'll do that now. So basically all you gotta do is go to your functions, which is gonna be includes functions chat dot thing. There it is. Um, get messages. At the end of this, you go order by, and if I remember correctly, it is message ID, so it's just the ID field, and we're just gonna go D for descending, and hopefully that works. If it doesn't, I forgot the yeah, the newest message at the top. There you go. So there you go. So what you put there, it always shows top. So just say you went so name hope 
is <laughs> gotta get it's a message to get at top. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, next tutorial, we'll probably work on getting a bit prettier and probably implementing some Ajax along with it. Thanks for watching.